What are you high on? What are you talking about? Earlier in the house, you looked at me straight in my face. You said, I'm high. Oh, hello, hi. What you want? We got dispatched to a disturbance past. Uh, they were, the notes were a little vague. Um, it was something along the lines of, my boyfriend had stole my hair, and you know they got into a verbal altercation from there. And her hair was in a bag by the front door. Well, I went to the bag, I didn't know what was in that bag, so I kind of reached and kind of dug in it, and I noticed it was her stuff. So I, uh, I quit digging in it. When she comes home, she finds her hair by the front door, out on the table. And she just got in my face. Why is my hair? Why are you trying to steal my hair again or something? Blah blah blah. Which I didn't steal her hair. And she yeah. thought that you were stealing her hair. I'm in love with so. her, and she hates me. He said that that was his girlfriend, and when we questioned her about it, and she pretty much said, "No, this is just my roommate." And I think she was just kind of staying there, almost bumming off of him in a sense. And he was probably just kind of getting tired of it. She said that uh, they got into the argument, and during the argument, that uh, he wanted to touch her feet. <laughs> Don't touch my feet and not say a word. Oh, he I'm gonna throw a punch. Your feet, okay. Why did he touch so your feet? I'm gonna drink a beer. Uh, you know, why he's, he... got a, he's got some good food here. He's got chicken peas. He's got, he's okay. got some good, I, I love my ribs too, you know. So why did he touch your feet? Yeah, he loves feet. Okay. Uh, is there anything going on about hair? Yes. My oh, hair I see you shaved your head. Hair. Well, no, I, I've been doing it. Will you show me about the hair? Obviously, at the end of the day, you want to be as professional as possible because what's not serious to us might be serious to them. And obviously, I think they thought this was a pretty serious offense. So they both told us that it was verbal only, no physical altercation. They let us go inside the house, and she was just showing us what she was alleging that he was still in. Clearly intoxicated, she admit to being, you know, quote unquote, high. He's sold 14 inches of my hair to crack cocaine. He sold your hair for the first time. I don't think that's hair. Uh, no, that is hair. There's hair in there. Oh. That's hair. I weigh it. Okay, I'm gonna give that right back. I All weigh right. hair. Okay, so you noticed your hair was moved. Then what happened? I'm like, dude, don't touch me. Don't like creep in on me. You, know, you want to touch my feet or something? Don't say something. Just out of curiosity, how much you don't drank tonight? Don't touch me. I just drank a beer. Uh, yeah, how I'm how high. much total? I'm high. Oh, I'm you're, high. You're high. What are you high on? Ow! Hey, we can't really do much over a verbal altercation. Pretty much just ask them to calm down, try to separate them. Um, and as we were walking out in plain view, sitting on a George Foreman like grease catcher grill, was a little bit of marijuana. Jeanette, who's marijuana? Mine. Oh. It's all mine. That's yours. I claim all mine on medical marijuana, but not in this town. You know we're in Texas. Medical marijuana. You know we're in Texas though, right? Yeah, but I'm Colorado. Well, right, but in, in the state of Texas though, marijuana is still illegal. Come on outside with me, would you? Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm grabbing my beer. Oh, okay. Do you have any other drugs or anything like that on you? I wish I did. It was a small amount of marijuana, you know, but Texas law says it just has to be a usable amount. And as soon as I told him that, he wanted to take the possession charge, but she was not hesitant to say it was hers and that she smokes it. She made the comment that she wanted to get sober, so whenever she got out of jail, she checked herself into a, to a sober home, and last I heard, she was, she was staying there. She's been sober, doing better. Uh, who's this message about? No baby, 100 for an hour, so it sounds like haggling on her price. No text, no. And I didn't even How call much no. again, sweetie? None of that is yours? No. All I would want man to man is just something to make sense. That's all. That's all I got to say. I mean, I don't, unless you want me to make up stuff. Absolutely not. There you go.